1989, a five-year-old Chinese boy migrated to the United States along with his father and mother. Like other immigrants, this family landed in the U.S. with hopes of a greener pasture and a better future for their son. It was a long, hard road to fulfill their dreams, but today, over three decades later, this young Chinese boy is now one of the richest Asians in the country, with a net worth of $1.2 billion according to Forbes, and is the co-founder of DoorDash, the largest food delivery service in the United States. This is the story of Tony Zhu and how he went from being an ordinary immigrant to an extraordinary billionaire. We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinarily successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us make more videos. Tony Zhu was born in Nanjing, a mega city in eastern China. His mother was a doctor in China and his father was a professor. In 1989, when Tony was just five years old, his parents relocated to Champaign, Illinois, and this was where he spent most of his childhood. Growing up, young Tony worked multiple jobs, but most of the time he worked at the same restaurant with his mother. Although she was a doctor in China, her medical license was not identified in the US, so she gave up her career and settled for a job in a restaurant. Tony would work here in his spare time as a dishwasher, and this was his introduction to the food industry. However, like every Asian kid, his education was his priority. After graduating from high school, Tony enrolled in Berkeley's College of Engineering, where he earned a degree in industrial engineering and operations research. Next, he got his MBA from Stanford Graduate School of Business. It was during his years at Stanford that he met Andy Fang, Evan Moore, and Stanley Tang. And in 2013, these four men created the delivery company, DoorDash. We all know DoorDash offers spectacular online ordering and delivery services in the US. It is arguably the best among its competitors, but factually, it is the most successful food delivery company in the country. However, the company didn't start there. Neither did Tony think it was going to be as successful as it has become. DoorDash was established to help small food vendors deliver their products on time, and the inspiration behind it was his mother. In an interview, he said, We started the company to help small businesses, people like my mom. After just nine years of its existence, DoorDash has achieved this goal and then so much more. However, its beginning is nowhere near as glamorous as it is today. Before building DoorDash, Tony worked a few other jobs. He worked for eBay, PayPal, and Block Inc. From these online companies, he gained experience, which he applied when it was time to set up his own establishment. He and his colleagues, Andy Fang, Evan Moore, and Stanley Tang, knew that they wanted to develop a business centered around helping business owners, but they weren't sure what capacity this help would come in. So the first thing they did was interact with several small business owners to see what would be the most helpful, and then base their innovation on the results of their survey. The participants of this survey spanned the entire Bay Area, from San Mateo to Mountain View and the problem that came up the most was that of delivery. These small business owners complained about how they struggled to keep up with the high demand they faced from their customers, and that it was impossible to keep track of all the orders and carry out the deliveries on their own. Just like that, Tony and his three other friends knew what they had to do. In January 2013, they built a website, paloaltodelivery.com. This website was built in under 45 minutes, and as soon as it launched, it contained the menus of several restaurants within Palo Alto. It also contained contacts for customers to call to place their delivery. This website was just a test to see if people within the neighborhood would be interested in ordering food from restaurants, and it turned out that people were. Within just an hour of launching the website, Palo Alto Delivery got its first phone call. It was their first order, and within a few minutes, more orders were placed. The result of this test was very encouraging, so much so that Tony and his friends didn't mind making the deliveries themselves. Around this time, they were still at Stanford, so sometimes they would skip classes to make deliveries or receive calls from customers during classes. Stanley Tang, one of the co-founders, once said, In the beginning, we were the delivery drivers. We would go to class and then after, we would go to deliver food. We were the customer support. Those were definitely the days of small beginnings, and all their hard work paid off. By June 2013, the company's name was changed to DoorDash, 
and around this time, the business had boomed significantly. They even had several delivery drivers who were known as Dashers. When it became clear that DoorDash was going to be very successful, all its founders, Tony included, came up with an idea to build their own ecosystem. Through this system, they could monitor the orders, the customers could make payments, they could track their drivers, and customers could confirm delivery and drop reviews. On that note, the DoorDash app was created. However, this process took more time and money than it did to build the Palo Alto website. Within the first year of operation, DoorDash collaborated with over 70 restaurants in the Bay Area, and it received over $2 million in funding. And like they say, the rest is history. Today, DoorDash accounts for almost half of all online food orders and deliveries in the country. It now collaborates with almost 400,000 restaurants, and the company generates billions upon billions of dollars every month. As DoorDash expanded over the years, Tony's net worth climbed up with it. However, the growth climbed up to new heights during the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2020, Tony Zhu was listed on the Forbes list of billionaires in the country, with a net worth of $1.3 billion. Although most of his fortune comes from being CEO of DoorDash, Tony is also on the board of directors of Meta Platforms, the parent company of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. When asked about the secret to his success, Tony attributed it to understanding the circumstances he found himself in, adapting to them and providing solutions, all the while keeping his eyes on the mission, that is, helping small businesses like his mother's restaurant back in the day. What an inspiring story. Today, Tony, at just 38 years old, has accomplished a lot more than most people his age. He has come a long way from being a poor dishwasher to being a globally recognized entrepreneur. His story is a beautiful reminder that you can do and become successful at anything you put your mind to. We've come to the end of this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.